Hey guys, Erin here, and today I'm going to go through two trash bags full of NES games. So I was in Mike's game room, and I saw these two trash bags, and I thought they were trash. But nope, they're full of NES games. But don't worry, he was never going to throw them out, I was never going to throw them out. He's just moving them into a different room, so temporarily they are in these bags. So I thought it would be fun to go through them and see what NES games are in these trash bags. First we have Super Spike, B-Ball, and World Cup, Nintendo World Cup. So I really like Super Spike, B-Ball. The cartridge I have is just Super Spike, B-Ball. I think it's a really fun sports game. I'm not a really big sports game person, but on the NES there's actually like a good amount of sports games that I like. I've been thinking about doing a video about that. Next up we have Solstice, the quest for the Staff of Demons. Isn't this like the best like cover art ever? He's like a buff wizard. He's not like one of those like feeble wizards. He's like, he can do magic and kick your ass. Next up we have Mick Kids or MC Kids, depending on who you ask. I like this game. It gets really hard. I've never beaten it. At least I think it's hard. I don't know. I don't think it's terrible. Yeah, it's a clone of uh, Super Mario 3. But, you know, you can go upside down and stuff. It has its own little elements, but I wish it was more McDonald's-y than it is. And now it's the Bomberman game, the first Bomberman. I always, this one feels so not Bomberman to me when I, I'm talking the cover art because it doesn't look like the Bomberman we know today yet. It just looks like a spaceman, kind of like Samus almost. All right, so now we have Sunsoft's Freedom Force. So I really like the cover to this. It's very 80s. Um, so, it's a light gun game. I think it's the one where you're in an airport and you're shooting bad guys. But like, the cover is amazing. I really like the design of it. Dragon Warrior. So this is Dragon Quest, but you know when it came to North America, they called this a Dragon Warrior. All I know about Dragon Quest is the little droplet slime guys, because they're everywhere. And then there was that Fortune Street game on Wii where it was the Dragon Quest characters and Mario characters. I never really got into it because I'm not a super big RPG person, but I know people love Dragon Quest. All right, next up we have Blaster Master. This is one of those games I always forget exists. It's like I played it here and there, but I never really think about it. And it's weird because uh, I think Blaster Master Zero, which was the remake for Switch, I think that was a Switch launch title. I remember I bought that when I got my Switch. Um, and I think there's three of them now. There's three Blaster Master Zeros, and I think they're done by the people that did uh, Bloodstained Curse of the Moon. I like Curse of the Moon, but Blaster Master Zero, I, I don't think, I think I downloaded it, but I didn't play it that much. I don't know. Blaster Master is something I really want to like, but I feel like whenever I start playing it, I like don't stick with it. Oh, another NES game show game, Double Dare. So. I really like my NES game show games, but I don't really think I like this one. This one drives me absolutely crazy because like the part where you're trying to get the banana into the gorilla's hand, I, I can't do it. And then there's like the tapping where you're trying to run, or wait, am I confusing it with Guts? I think I'm confusing it with Nickelodeon Guts. I don't know, but whatever, double dare. <laughs> oh, Dragon's Lair on NES. So I've gotten through the drawbridge and the second part. I think that's the furthest I've got in Dragon Slayer because it's all memorization. But you know what uh, Don Bluth game pissed me off the most is Space Quest on Super Nintendo. I, just so much rage and anger. That game, oh my God, fuck that game. Tiny Toon Adventures. I like the second one better. This one, I don't know. I've never gotten super far in this. I feel like it kicks my ass. I don't think it's considered a hard game, but I think this is kind of tough. I like the second one because it takes place in a theme park. Oh god, Mickey Mouse Capades. I beat this game. I did a video on it a few years ago. And I just, I don't like it. It's weird. It's like, I like the sprites. I like part of it, but the part I really don't like is the part where like you have to remember like where the, the trees are changing colors. I feel like that's the part that I really hate of that game. Ring King, oh is this the wrestling game? This is the one where there's a part where it looks like one of the guys is giving a blowjob. Puzzle, just straight up puzzle. This is a, oh I, I love when it has like rental store sticker on it. This one has one from Game Dude in North Hollywood. I doubt Game Dude is still there. 
but it's from good old American Video Entertainment. They did a Wally Bear and the No Game. So I'm sure it's a treat. Paperboy! I like Paperboy. I really like Paperboy 2, and I like the one on Genesis and the Super Nintendo one. I like a lot of the Paperboy games. I don't like Paperboy 64 though. And that one had a crazy commercial that was like, it was when everything was edgy. Paperboy is back. Ooh, Guardian Legend. So I think the sprite in Guardian Legend is really cute, and this is when they tried to make everything look very like, uh, the box art for Guardian Legend. I feel like does not reflect what the game is at all. But I will say that the European box art for Guardian Legend is really good. Good old California games. This was on everything. I like the vibe of California games because it reminds me of like being a kid growing up in the early 90s where like anything beach related or California was always neon and it was great. <laughs> Bugs Bunny Crazy Castle. I love this game. I don't care what anyone says, it's addicting. I've played the whole thing through like three times. I like to stream it every once in a while because you can just space out and play it. But it's like, you could, there's only like Sylvester, Foghorn, Lakehorn. Oh yeah, 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 and Wiley Coyote. I was gonna say there's not enough enemies, but I, but I guess. But there's like two different colors Sylvester's. So instead of doing that, they could have like, I don't know. I don't like, like Tweety Bird. I hate Tweety Bird actually, but they could have added Tweety Bird. I don't know why I hate Tweety Bird. I just realized that like, I really don't like Tweety Bird. And we all know this was Roger Rabbit in Japan. I don't think I've played that version. That was the Famicom disc system version. Super C, I love Super C. And I like that this poster, see this is called good cover art. This is everything you're gonna get into. You got the robot with the feet. You got um, the helicopter from the first stage. You got the boss from the second stage, I think, and then the guy with the teeth, I think, is the one where, like, he has the, um, like, the worm things coming out and the teeth vaginas on the floor. See, they're, they tell you what you're getting into. That's good cover art. That's why I have a poster of it. I'm defending it like people think it sucks. Like, everyone likes Super C, and I'm like, it's good. It's like, yeah, Aaron, everyone thinks it's good. Akari Warriors just makes you wish you were playing Jackal. At least that's me. I got so excited. Crazy Creatures! I love Crazy Creatures. It's so fun and crazy. This game gets so stressful. You're like matching up dogs and cats and happy faces. It's fucking nuts. I mean, look, it's hot pink and black. Radical. I never really stared at the uh, cover art. Like, I, I, I know the um, logo for Crazy Creatures, but I never actually looked at the faces. <laughs> There's like a cat face and two weird... Uh, like happy faces. The four quattro adventure where you have the little like switch right here. These are great. This, which one? Okay, this is the one that has Treasure Island Dizzy. So I have a few of the Dizzy games. And I really like the idea that there was a franchise where you're an egg. You're an egg that's an explorer. I think that's great. I wish they were better games. Uh, Boomerang Kid, Super Robin Hood. That's one that I thought looked fun because I saw footage of it. Speaking of puzzle games, Palamedes. So Palamedes I like because it has all the um, it has all the like information on the cartridge. So it's like, what are you gonna do? Like if you had the original NES where you stick it in like that instead of the top loader, it's like how are you gonna read that? You have to memorize this information before you put it in. The cover art on the box is a little frightening. I'm not gonna lie but I like the logo itself. Bible Adventures! I like some of the Wisdom Tree games. You know which one I unironically, legitimately like? Bible Buffet. I fucking love that game. It's amazing. I don't care. Like, I know it's shitty, but I really like it. Player One. Ooh, this one has the booklet with it. What's this? Monopoly! I want to play this because I hear it's like legitimately the best way to play Monopoly because it moves really fast. Captain Comic! Oh, this is another Color Dreams Wisdom Tree game. I like that their cartridges are always like some weird color like this. I don't know if it's sun faded. This must have been blue originally. I'll have to look it up. But now it's like a yellowing off, like a yellowing seafoam green. It's pretty, it's not good, but you know what? That's fine. I like that it's ugly. It lets you know what you're getting into. Pyramid, another American video entertainment. I don't know about this one. Probably sucks. 
Oh, this has a Blockbuster sticker on it. Silver Surfer. Isn't it a shame that the cover, it, I mean the sticker on the cartridge, it's just plain. Like it should have Silver Surfer on it, I think. I think there was some cost cutting measures going on and they didn't want to use his likeness because it was like an extra $5 or whatever. Metal Storm, this is actually, I think it's kind of rare, a little bit. Or not rare, but well, yeah, it's a little rare because that's a little more pricey than your average NES cartridge from what I remember. Um, Irem recently, last year, uh, re-released this. And this game, I like it, but it drove me nuts. But I got to the final boss and then there was like a boss rush or something and at that point I gave up. But that game's crazy. You like can flip up and down. It's cool. It has cool mechanics, but it'll piss you off. All right, bag number two. Battletoads. I don't, I don't like Battletoads. I don't like how it looks. I just, I don't like how it feels to play it. I just, I don't like it. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know what I do like? Dracula's Curse. I know you guys are probably like, shut up about Dracula's Curse already, but you know what, whatever. I love that game. It's so good. Here we go, here's Tiny Toons 2, Trouble in Wacky Land. I always forget what it's called. Besides Tiny Toons 2, it's Trouble in Wacky Land. This is the one I was talking about earlier where you're in a theme park, there's like a log ride level. It's fun, I like it. It's not easy, but I have more fun with it than the first one. Impossible Mission 2. We got a lot of gems from American Video <laughs> Entertainment here. I really want that girl's jacket. It's kind of like the thriller jacket, but like future. It's pretty badass. Classic Concentration. I want this in the box. This is one of the NES game show games. I streamed this a few times. I really like this game. I think it's really fun. Um, I like the set of the original TV show because I've seen it on like, sometimes they show reruns on like Buzzer or Pluto TV and it's just great. It's so 80s, I like it. Swamp Thing. So I was, th okay, so I, sometimes I think, oh, I should play that. I think it's considered one of the hardest NES games. It's nuts, like no one ever talks about it. I never really see anyone playing it. There's probably a reason why. And this says Randall's. This is a protective label. If tampered with, customer must purchase this tape. Rampage. My favorite Rampage game is probably the one on N64. I'm surprised that I have a favorite game of a franchise on the N64, but you know what? Rampage on N64 is fun. I used to play that with my friends when I started getting back into the N64 in college. Ooh, high speed pinball from Rare. But yeah, see, just the artwork is always cool. I think this is the one where they tried to make it look kind of 3D and really realistic, but it's kind of just um, disorienting. I could be mixing it up with another pinball game, but I think this is the one that bothers me. Venice Beach Volleyball. See what I mean? Everything about the beach was like really like radical, cool neon colors. I love it. I don't know if I played Venice Beach Volleyball. It probably doesn't hold up to Spike V-Ball because this is again from American Video Entertainment. It's probably not that good. Speaking of volleyball, here's just NES Volleyball. I always forget about just NES Volleyball. <gasps> Ranking the best volleyball NES games. That's a video I would watch. I should make that video. And maybe like five people would find that, you know, informative. Ooh, Rockin' Cats. You're kind of rare. You should probably be somewhere. I don't know, but anyway, Rockin' Cats is cool. It's like a interesting side scroller. Doesn't it Rockin' Cats? I feel like this should have been a series, <laughs> like a after school cartoon or something. I mean, maybe it's based on something, I don't know, but I think it's just an NES game. Rygar, I remember when I did my top 10 sunsets video, I didn't include Rygar and some people were very upset. And yeah, I probably should have included it, but you know what, there's always room for sunsets part two. I like Rygar. It's, I've never gotten super far in it, but I like it. Jackal, I like Jackal. It's one of the Konami silver gray box games. It's good, I like that game a lot. It's fun to roll, run over people. Gumshoe, another um, zapper game. Oh, that one's cool. I don't think I did a video on Gumshoe yet. No, I haven't. That'd be fun. Miss Pac-Man, Tengen. The first way I played Miss Pac-Man, not including the arcade version, was the Game Boy port. That was the first way I played it at home. Shadow of the Ninja. I like this game a lot. I did a video on it early on in my channel and I got to the final boss, but I think I just got tired and I kept dying and I gave up. 
but it's a fun game. It's like, if you like Batman and Kabuki, uh, Quantum Fighter, stuff like that, you probably like this one. Friday the 13th. I recently played this game, because every time I would play it before, I didn't know what I was doing. But now that I know what I'm doing, I actually kind of have fun with it. I don't know, I should try to beat it. It's fun. Like, I don't know, I like it. It's insane. It's, it's like not, I feel like it's kind of shitty, but it's still enjoyable if you understand what to do. But for the longest time, I didn't know what to do, so I hated it. Metal Fighter. So you're in the ocean, and there's a, there appears to be a squid with like a half robotic head. This is not. I want to play this. I haven't seen this one before. Metal Fighter. Ooh. Oh, Kid Nikki. I got excited because I really like the um this shade of pink for the Kid Nikki box. This is like my favorite shade of pink. It's just neon bubblegummy pink. It's perfect. And the game is okay. It's like really easy. It's kind of like it's not bad, but it's just like all right. It's Kid Nikki. Like it's fine. I don't know, maybe if I played it as a kid, I would have probably enjoyed it more and I probably would have liked it more as an adult. But as an adult, you're just kind of like, eh. Three Stooges. I, the art style of this game I find very off-putting and scary. Like, it would have scared me as a child. I don't like it. I don't like it. Cartoon Workshop. Oh, this is the Tiny Toon Cartoon Workshop. I've seen the box for this, but I, I can't picture what you actually do in the game. I'll have to look that up. See, NES games are awesome because there's just so many. And you know, even if you get into NES games later in life, it's like there's still so much that can be new to you that it doesn't get old. That's what's fun about retro gaming. Like some people don't get it. A lot of territory to like explore. Popeye. I always thought the um, sprites for this were really cute. Popeye freaks me out. His kids, like Peepie, whatever the fuck they're called. I find them so ugly and scary. Creeps me out. Magic darts, holy shit, is this the one uh, where there's like, you can be an alien? Spot, oh, this has an actual Blockbuster sticker on it. I wanna find one with a Hollywood Video sticker on it. Um, I don't think Hollywood Video was around when NES was a thing, but I mean, I remember renting like N64 era from there. I would like to find an N64 game with a Hollywood Video sticker on it. Last long time, oh my God, that's funny I mentioned Felix the Cat. Because look what I have here. I should probably put it in there. My copy's better. <laughs> but yeah, Felix the Cat, I like it. I used to really like it like five years ago. And now that I've like expanded in what I play, I'm like, it's probably not my top 10 NES games, but it's fun. It's like a good side scroller. I'm going to put you in here. Will you fit? You will not fit. Okay. Will you fit now? There you go. I feel like that should be protected because that one is not cheap. Snoopy's Silly Sports. Uh, this was originally Donald Duck, right? In a uh, Famicom, I think. This is Super Mario Brothers Duck Hunt and World Class Track Meet. I forget that exists, that this version exists. And somebody drew a Fester's Quest cover on this. And there's like a little cat man. I don't know if that's supposed to be Fester or the mole. It looks like the mole from Mole Mania. Marble Madness. I like Marble Madness. I want to, I wish you could walk around like the track of Marble Madness in real life. Wouldn't that be fun? Okay, another Quattro adventure. This is the same one. So we, we got two of these. See, some people are like, why do you guys have duplicates? That means you bought a, like, I remember one person when I did my game room tour, they were confused that I had two copies of Legend of Zelda 2. And they're like, oh, she just got like a lot on eBay. It's like, no, one works, one doesn't. I forget which one is which. And I thought maybe I could clean it enough to get the other one to work so I didn't want to get rid of it. It's like duplicates happen. Everyone looks for a deeper meaning and shit. It's like, no, it's just sometimes you have two. Or in our case, we have like five copies of Yoshi on NES. Tubin! I love Tubin. I love Tubin so much. It's fun. Um, the Tubin arcade game, I need to stream. I don't think I've ever streamed that, but for a while I would play a lot of Tubin on NES. It's just, it's funny. I don't know. It's Tubin! Krusty's Fun House. Mm, I. Simpsons games are. Those are rough. <laughs> uh, Super Pitfall. Got Super Pitfall, Tailspin. Oh my god, I hate this game. I hate this game so much. 
I'm sorry, Capcom. No, no. All right, so between the two trash bags, we have made some stacks of NES games. I found a few rare ones, but a lot of it, you know, it's just pretty common stuff. But it was still fun to go through. I love just looking through NES cards because you like, you jiggle your brain around and sometimes it'll like, like spark a memory or go, oh yeah, I wanted to play this or whatever. So it's just fun. They're fun to look at, you know, all the like sticker art and everything. I don't know. So I hope you had fun with this video and I'll be back again very soon. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.